Hi guys, Bruce here. Well, Craftsman Platinum. This is the best one money can buy. Still when it was a Sears model. I believe Lowe's has Craftsman now. Uh, this lawnmower, everything feels perfect on it, but when I pull a little, uh, when I pull a rope, the little there's a set of cogs or dogs or logs or fogs or something inside the rewind that are supposed to pop up and grab the and grab the cup. And look, so the spring is okay, but I might have to replace the dogs inside that. Did you guys get the full effect of that, or should I give you one more shot? That's pretty good. So yeah, here we go. Turning the engine or the flywheel. We got mosquitoes right now that are as big as ducks. So I'm just going to take the top off this guy. And we'll see what we end up with. So this is my favorite lawnmower. Flathead. Briggs and Stratton flathead, six horsepower, called a Quantum. Automatic choke on this bad boy. Hmm, look at that. Hardly used. Oil's perfect. He's hardly put any hours on this. Unless he serviced it himself. Alright, gas tank. Five sixteenths. Let's use a magnet. If I use a magnet, I tend to have less issues. Three bolts holding the gas tank down. Now, before we get silly, I'm going to disconnect the rope from... What's the best way of doing this is? I would like to disconnect the rope and just undo it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I need something with a little bit of leverage. Leverage, leverage. Tomato. Tomato. Good. Okay, so we've got the three bolts off the gas tank. This should just rotate back nicely without disconnecting ourselves. Now, we're going to get access to the rewind. I might have a rewind in the garage, in the shed. That would be funny. Eh? So I need to disconnect the dipstick. And then there should be four three eighths holding this. Nope. Yep, four three eighths holding this down. Okay. It almost looks like he's over tightened this. Let's go see if we can find one. Now, the one I'm looking for has four rivets. I might have the whole thing, but then you lose the date because the date and the serial number of the engine's on here. So let's go see what we've got. I'll be back. 
Hey, hey, Ralphie boy. Well, I got, I got it. Boy, that shirt did come apart, eh? It is just jammed in there. Okay. Well, I'm going to take, <clears throat> I'm going to drill this one out. Ha, 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 ha. We found the problem. Come with me, my friends. Look what I just found inside the cup. That probably was rattling around in there, causing physical damage to that plastic. Hmm, I'm glad there was at least a reason. This machine needs a tune-up. As it sits right now, I'm going to tilt it back and just see how bad the, the blade looks. It's got one nick in it. No, the blade is not worth sharpening. I will scratch it out later. The main thing is to get this rewind working. So come over here. So this is the... That's good. This is all good. How much rope do we have here? That's the new one. Exactly the same length. We don't have to change the rope. Isn't that wonderful? We just got to rivet this new guy on in here. Okay, we need a drill. We're gonna drill. We're gonna drill these three rivets out of here. Let's give you guys some altitude. Can you see? So this one machine was made. In 2000, no. Oh, 2009. So it's 13 years old, guys. Woohoo! Safety glasses. Let's just drill out these four rivets. Okay, can you see onto here now? Rivets. One, two, three, four. I think you can actually see that. I think I'm going to need a bigger drill. Okay, let's try that again. It's not really coming, is it? It's a smaller. There we go. It's going to work. That'll probably, yeah, that'll do it. One more, the one I couldn't get. One, two, three, and four right here. Is the bottom spinning? Yes, it is. 
Just give her a little squeeze here. So I'm just drilling out the rivets, right? Correcto. I'm just going to squeeze this one together a little bit so it doesn't spin so much. It might help. So, okay, when you're doing small engines, you got to have a package of band-aids in the closest drawer, right? Okay. Voila! Hey, hey, hey! So let's get that other one on there. You gotta just set it the correct orientation. 2009. It was a very good year. So in one moment, I'm gonna turn you guys back over this way to mower side. I'm gonna just pop this onto here. This new one to go on like oh that's the old one. Now that's an easy mistake to make. <coughs> there it is. Let's just see if she grabs on. Oh yeah. Now we just need good sized rivets, which I happen to have. I'll be right back. Okay, my friends, this is what the rivets look like after they're drilled out, right? They kind of look like that fits into there like that. And this is what they look like before they're used. Now, on this one, you need a fat... I usually use a 1-8 inch rivet. And on this machine, I need a, something a little bit fatter. So it's got to just fit into that... Right there. It's got to fit in like that, eh? Now we need a rivet gun. Crippers. I hope that this guy will... I know, my other rivet gun stopped grabbing the, the pin, so I have to use this one. I think that's going to be really, really good. Okay, let's give this a crack. Oh, I have to change the... That's right, too. I have to change the end in the... Okay, we'll try the next size up. Are you ready? Okay. Whew. Looks just like the old one. Good. Now we'll do the other side to make sure we're on the right track. When you start a rivet, you have to push pretty hard on the rivet gun down because you want the rivet to expand on the other side, right? <laughs> okay, and it's usually a double hander for me. Okay, before we put too many more in, let's have a look. They look just like the old ones did. Right? Right there. I'm tempted to do the other ones. Well, you know, the lawnmower. I was going to say I'm tempted to do the other ones on the bench, but this holds things down so well, right? Perfect. <coughs> Excuse me, my voice, guys. Love 
Whew. Okay, now I'm going to take this off uh, for now because I. Uh, what was I going to check on that? And we'll check all four of them. Well, I don't think those are coming off. Well, that's pretty cool. There's our automatic choke. Now, a lot of you know about this now, but. Okay, so there's your muffler. This heats up and this arm moves over, right, as it heats up. Opening and closing the choke. You see that right there? And at the same time you've got wind from the from the flywheel onto this flapper as well to take it off a little more quickly when it's running right off the bat. What else do you need to know? Let's just have a little look at the spark plug while we got everything pulled apart. He hasn't used this mower much. A little bit. Okay, I'm just going to buzz this up and clean it. Right on. Good, let's put that cover back on. Takes the brake off, eh? <laughs> like last time. Good. 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 Okay, let's put our four bolts back in. Bolt four the dip stick. <laughs> so that was sure nice to have a Sure, nice to have a pre made one. I didn't have to wind a spring or anything, eh? All right, I think we're at the gas tank stage now. Three bolts, five sixteenths. It's even got a bridge and stratton uh, pull handle on it, eh? All right, now we're, we're just going to rotate this back through. And put our three bolts on. Where are the three bolts, babe? Gotta go slow. You don't want to cross thread any of this stuff. Magnet.
like that. It caught. Now I'm just going to get a 3 8 inch uh, wrench and verify that these are all tight. Yep. One more on the other side. I just thought about it, you know, just being careful. And the gas tank can be tightened up too. Good. Okay, my friends. What else we got? Just the cover. Oh! <laughs> okay. Up there. I didn't release the, uh, I didn't put the handle through the hole here. And I'm just going to disconnect the whole thing now instead of bending it. So on something like that, I watch the, the identifier on the socket. Because we're going plastic to metal here. Good, I think we're there. Now I'm just going to recheck the oil. It's perfect, it's even clean. I, I think I'm just going to turn this back to him the way it is. How much gas does he have? This is my official gas gauge. It used to be my prop stick. Okay, we're just doing the filter over here on the other side now. It cleaned off really well. So, good air filter. Oil looks great. I don't think he's got five hours on it. Uh, the spark plug looks fine. The blade is not, it's got one nick on it, probably from before. And, uh, and I think we're ready to just uh, have a little test. Lower it down to three quarters. And if this goes well, we'll scrape the broccoli out from underneath on it. Okay, we got a. I'm not going to use the clamp just off the first go. Oh, I bet you that spark plug's not on there. It's always a good sign, isn't it?
Now, it's, it's, it's missing just a little bit, hey? <laughs> Isn't that the way? I'm just going to check and see if there's any water in the fuel. Could be. Hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna turn you guys off and we're gonna just dump that gas out. Okay, my friends, <clears throat> this is tough. We got a we got a miss everybody four or five seconds, and that's almost impossible to find. But I changed from a high resistance plug to a regular resistance plug. Oh, and I also changed out the fuel, so we're going to be a little rich here for a minute. Come on! Okay, this is the big, big problem with a lot of these guys. I'm going to just disconnect this and just hook it right to there and eliminate this evil thing. We'll see if that helps. Okay, it improved a little bit, so now I'm going to just change plugs and, and try a little more stuff. Hey, it runs like a top now. You know, it was a combination of the old... Okay, I don't... Let me start that again. And for a long time, a lot of stuff came with an RJ19, which I like, but these are the HX plugs, and they have a real high resistance, like 60 thousandths, not 10 thousandths. And then combined with the hood, you get a combined resistance of 10, 5 to 10 thousand more. So I'm not a real fan of those HX plugs, guys. I tend to chase them out, or change them out. So I think we're there. Adam's got himself a fixed up lawnmower. I'm just going to do this, and then clear out the uh, broccoli from underneath here. We might as well do a good job for him.